So today we are going to explore Rokoko video. So this is like a very interesting motion capture thing. It uses artificial intelligence to um, do the motion capture. So this is Rokoko video in action. So to use this, you need to download Rokoko Studio first. After that, you need to create a Rokoko ID and you need this ID to use Rokoko Video. So Rokoko Video, the AI motion capture thing works in the browser itself. So this is the dashboard of Rokoko Video. You need to create a new scene first. So create a new scene. So you can record live video or you can choose an offline uh, recorded video file like a MP4 or MOV. I'm going to do offline one. So this is my video. I'm going to upload this. And once everything looks good, you can turn this into animation and this will take some time to process. So give it a couple of minutes. There we go. This is done processing. So now open up Rokoko studio and in studio, you'll have to log in again. So now the motion capture that we recorded appears here. So the project appears here. So you can just select the project to open it. And this scene only has one clip. So you can select that clip right there. So now you can see that our motion has been applied to the character. Now down we have a timeline as well. So you can mess with the foot logs. So the green and the blue bars are the foot log keyframes. So basically they control the uh, lifting of the feet from the ground and you can change those timings by changing the positions and extending those bars. After that, you can export this. So right click and export in the export panel, export this as an FBX binary file. And uh, make sure that you are also using a reference pose. That way you can retarget this to different skeletons. And now this is a FBX binary. So you can import this in Unreal Engine or Blender. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Blender. So just open Blender, import your FBX file. The only thing that you need to uh, check is the automatic bone orientation. So this is very important. Make sure that's enabled and import it. So we have the skeleton right here. Now I'm going to import my custom character mesh. So this is a rigged character and we are going to retarget this animation to our custom character. So we have a free plugin for that. So this plugin has a fantastic retargeter. So here you can select the source skeleton and the target skeleton. And you can rebuild the bone list. This will automatically detect similar bones. And now you can press the retarget button that's going to apply the motion of the skeleton, the Rokoko motion capture skeleton to a custom character skeleton. So yeah, that's it. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And that's it. I'm going to see you in the next video.